All right, guys, check this out. A couple Resistance 3 beta videos ago, a few beta videos ago, I put up a video pretty much bragging about how I was the best Resistance 3 beta gameplay uploader and player um, ever in the history of Resistance 3 beta. And when I when I uploaded it, I was just originally just uh, BSing around. I was just I was just dirty dicking you guys, just you know, just having fun. It was just a joke. I didn't really mean it. But as time has progressed, I can honestly say, like with a hundred percent feeling, and I can say it from my nuts, all right, that I am the best Resistance Three player ever in the history of Resistance Three. You know why? Because I constantly put up great numbers. I constantly bring you guys great gameplay with great commentary on top. And there's nobody else out there who can who can do what the fuck I do in this game. Alright? To put it to put it very bluntly, I am the El Presidor of Resistance 3. Hands down. Alright? I am a fucking as he would say, I'm a straight up biblical beast at Resistance 3. Alright? I'm a fucking nightmare. But in my words, I'm just straight up fucking godlike. Like, there's nobody who can fucking touch me. Straight Adonis type shit. Just call me fucking Zeus. I am the fucking Zeus of Resistance 3. Alright? Now, there's a topic. There's an underlying topic that I want to go ahead and discuss with you guys on this video. Uh, but I just want to go ahead and get that out of the way. Alright? I'm constantly putting up top numbers. And just ask anyone who I've, who I've played with who... Uh, who's like just randomly joined in on one of my videos they can fucking vouch for you even if my team loses I still put up big numbers cause that's just what I do I'm just that fucking great at this game alright and no that's not that's not your computer messing up that is an actual freeze itch issue that this beta's had since it's been updated like they put out an update so that the uh, PlayStation Plus subscribers can play and since then it's been having like these really funky ass freezing issues like it doesn't freeze like completely, but it'll freeze for like a split second here or there during the games, and it's kind of annoying. It's like I'll be in the middle of a heated battle, and the next thing I know, I freaking come back and I'm dead. It only takes that damn, I got sniped. It only takes that one second for you to get screwed over in this game. So, but anyway, onto the topic I wanted to discuss, and that's the whole Microsoft exclusive thing. Now, if you go to a Gears of War or a Halo video, and you say, you don't even have to so much badmouth the game. If you just say something along the lines of I don't really like this game or you know I don't think this game is very good the 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 gears and the halo fanboys will freaking jump on your back they will jump on your back and God help you if you say uh, you know I liked I liked uh, this game better and that game happened to be on the PlayStation Like if I were to go to a gears video and say I didn't really like gears too much but I like uncharted a lot the freaking gears and the, the the Microsoft fanboys in general, they would just jump on your back like so bad, and it and it kind of boggled my mind as to why people get so offensive or defensive when it comes to this whole console war deal. And on the Microsoft perspective, I think I kind of figured it out. I think the reason why these people get so defensive with their games, especially Gears and Halo, is because that's really all they have is Gears and Halo. I mean, you have my uh, Call of Duty, which is multiplayer. But other than that, what is, what is everybody playing? What is everybody playing as their dominant shooters on their, or just dominant games in general, that that are exclusive to their console? You know what I mean? So uh, the Xbox fanboys they get real they get real defensive when you when you diss Halo and Gears because it's really the bread and butter of the the Xbox. To be honest with you, if if Gears wasn't um, a 360 exclusive, I wouldn't have an Xbox. I sure as hell wouldn't. Cause I sure as hell ain't playing that shit for Halo. Like, I mean, Halo was good at one point, but it, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be something that I bought a console for. It sure as hell wouldn't be. Look at this fucking beastin' right now. Look at this. Just ran up there with the fucking assault shield up and just rape rape faces. That's what I do. Oh, get the fuck off. Oh my god, I'm so good at this game. But yeah, it's, now don't get me wrong. The PlayStation crowd isn't really a whole lot better. It's just that I don't really understand why they would be so upset when someone disses their games. Now, as far as the online aspect, yeah. The fact that the PlayStation 3 doesn't come bundled with a freaking headset. And the fact that there's no party chat or cross-game chat um, at all on the PS3. 
But there's gonna be there's gonna be that on the PS Vita? Are you fucking kidding me? Why would you put that on your flagship console? Why would you put that on the handheld and not the console itself? Anyway, but yeah, those issues I can understand why a PlayStation owner would be upset. But as far as the games go, which is really what I'm talking about, yeah, I don't, I can I can see I can I could. I can see them being upset about the online aspects, but not the games, because we have some great fucking games. We have a lot of exclusives lined up. We got a lot. We got a lot to fucking offer, uh, gamers. You know what I mean? So, uh, what the fuck is he doing? So yeah, PlayStation fanboys can get a little bit nutty too. You know, don't get me wrong. But the Xbox fans, they're just mad because they don't really have a whole lot to play. And more times than not. If, if someone on my friends list isn't playing Gears or Halo, they're sitting on their dashboard watching Netflix, or they're just sitting on their dashboard in general because they have nothing to play. Meanwhile, I can flip on my PlayStation and play God of War if I wanted to. I got mad fucking games on the network I can play. I downloaded Street Fighter Alpha 2. I got fucking... I got fucking Bloody Roar 2 I can play if I wanted to. Just the whole entire back catalog of games I can go ahead and play. Then there's Uncharted. You know what I mean? Uh, there's God of War. I think I already said God of War. I'm not sure. But I, we just have so many different options to choose from where you guys are just kind of stuck with, you know, Gears and Halo as your, as your prime exclusives. So. Look at this dumbass. Spent too much time looking down your fucking scope. Open the eyes, boy. Look at that. I fucking mutate. I mutate. I think I died pretty quickly with this. Or was that a different game? I don't really remember. Uh, putting a fucking stink on them left and right. But, yeah. As far as the whole console war as a whole, I think it's really stupid. Like, I own both consoles. I know the positives and negatives of both consoles. And right now, the real big positive with the Xbox is that we're paying for our online but we get no freaking games to play. I mean, you get you get Call of Duty uh, DLC uh, a lot quicker than Sony does, but you have no other games to fucking show to show for it. I mean, you're forking out sixty dollars a year and even more. If oh my god, the commentary is over already, man. Fuck that. You know what I'm trying to damn say. That. Like goddamn, dude. Look at that shit. What is it? Twenty six and five. I've had better, but you know, I don't want to overdo it. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'll be bringing you guys more Resistance 3. So, peace.